Welcome back to my channel CRM Cloud Tech. Today our topic is integration in CRM. So we will um, integrate our MS Dynamics CRM entity to uh, our legacy software SQL Server using Power Automate Pro. Okay. So for that I have created a custom entity. Uh, this is you can see uh, uh, this is customer and this is uh, custom entity I have created it. So in that entity. I have form of variable and I have created some fields of here. Customer ID, first name, last name, full name will be the populated, uh, auto calculated, email, city, phone number, phone, and state zip code. Okay. Also, in or also, uh, I have uh, uh, data in my SQL that is in localhost. Okay. So that has, uh, I have database that has multiple table, but I have, but I want to integrate. Uh, only customer table. So I have this table here. So uh, this table has some data. Okay, customer ID, first name, last name. I want the, this data should be integrated in the MS CRM. How? What is the scenario? Okay. So let's discuss the scenario. Okay. So what I want? I want whenever I put ID, any I customer ID, and when I hit uh, save button. Then I want all. It will fetch all the details, all remaining details, names, first name, last name, full name, email, city, phone number, all the remaining details from the SQL, my legacy source database. Okay. Using Power Automate flow. Okay. So uh, for this integration, I am using Power Automate flow, and I will discuss how step by step, step by step, I will discuss everything, and if you. Uh, have any issue if you uh, uh, if you have any doubt just uh, comment down in this video and I will make sure that your doubt will be cleared okay so let's create uh, let's go to our power uh, flow okay so I have opened my make dot power dot com site and I have selected my environment okay now I will create a flow so to connect a flow to our legacy SQL server or uh, database that is in your local host, local machine, okay, local server, okay. So you you would require a uh, connection, data connection, and also you need a request to that connection, okay. You will require a data gateway, okay. So data gateway that will be installed on on your local server or local machine. That will connect uh, your legacy server to CRM. Okay, how? Let's discuss it. So, you need to install it this uh, on-premises uh, data gateway in your local machine. Okay. After this, when you install it, then you will uh, uh, then you will open it. Then you will get the option to sign in. So, you need to sign in uh, on-premises gateway using your CRM. Uh, uh, credentials okay now, when you will sign in then it will automatically create a gateway uh, for your machine okay and also you will uh, require to a uh, give a name to your gateway okay uh, so this is a very simple step and uh, just you can download the on the image gateway from Microsoft site and you just need to sign in and after signing just you need to give the uh, 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 gateway name and just recovery key okay nothing else okay now what we will do we have installed our uh, on previous gateway on local machine now what we will make a connection in power automate to our uh, local host uh, database so what i will do i will first go to you can make a connection from directly uh, from flow but uh, to uh, make a connection i am using the connection component so what I will do, I will click on new button connection. I will what connection I will require? I will require a SQL connection, SQL server connection. So I will click on SQL. Okay. So what authentication type I will choose? Uh, right now I I am using um, uh, uh, SQL server authentication. So I will use it. Uh, first I will use this uh, option, uh, SQL server authentication. Okay. There I will get an option. 
सर्वर ने ऊपर वर्ड विल बी योर सर्वर ने योर लोकल को सर्वर ने ओके वर्ड विल बी द डेटा बेस यू वुड रिक्वायर टू कनेक्ट दैट इज वट एवर यू वॉन्ट टू यूज आई विल फॉर माई केस इट इज बाइक स्टोर सो एंड नाउ यूजर नेम वॉट यूजर नेम यू आर यूजिंग इन योर लोकल होस्ट सो आई एम यूजिंग दिस ओके एंड ऑल्सो आई एम यूजिंग दिस पासवर्ड सो आई एम जस्ट मैनुअल टाइपिंग दिस पासवर्ड ओके एंड नाउ चूज ए गेट वे नाउ यू विल गेट ए ऑप्शन टू चूज ए गेट वे दैट इज यू इंस्टॉल इन योर लोकल मशीन ओके you will have many uh, uh, gateway so suppose you have multiple local machine and you have multiple uh, gateways available in different different machines so then you will get all the lists here but right now i have installed only word sql my uh, uh, gateway on gateway so i am getting only one option so i sql by gate gateway that is my gateway name okay if you click here status then you will get a name your gateway the gateway sql by gateway is all nice And I need to be clear. Okay, now I will come here. I will again choose my SQL. Okay, now I will hit the option of create button. So it will uh, it will uh, ready my connection. Okay, so now my connection is ready, and we can uh, go and we can use it. Okay, now I will create a flow. So what I want whenever let's uh, discuss the scenario again whenever i put id here and <clears throat> whenever i click on save button it will fetch all the remaining data and save it here okay so what i mean whenever i click on button to me when a row is added okay so it means the <clears throat> uh, we will create automatic flow that will automatically trigger when the row is added means when you will see Uh, someone click on save button okay now i am just giving the name of this uh, flow uh, update data customer table customer entity sorry i am from <laughs> sql background so i am just instead of entity i used to call table okay uh, you can call this entity or whatever you want whatever you prefer okay from sql legacy sort legacy your database okay so now what trigger action i require okay so i require when item is created when item is created but where item is created in sharepoint azure dev i will choose a option where my item is created so i have a list available i can choose data was i can write it then it will get a clear option to me when row is added modify or delete so right now i am using this <coughs> when row is added means whenever someone click on save button so i am choosing this button create now the first step of the flow is added when the uh, row is added okay now i will choose when row is added in which entity Okay, like in when in, uh, in on what trigger I want to uh, in what event I want to trigger my flow. So I would like to trigger when record first time is added. So is added. I can choose added or modify or delete means update or delete. So when my uh, when <coughs> record is added, then in which table means customer table. When record is added in this table. Okay, I'm just choosing the scope. You can choose as uh, scope as your your requirement. <coughs> okay, so I'm just uh, using the organization level right now. Okay, just uh, when flow is added, I'm just getting the column from this. Okay, so right now I'm not getting from this anything. Just when flow when Someone click on save button. It will get the record, or it will trigger the. It will capture the record. Now what I want? Then I want a SQL data. Okay, I want a 
and you get delete all those, you get a query, you get store things, whatever you want. So that was means all of it will fetch. But now what I got single record means uh, of, uh, suppose if I want I am typing here too, then I want the all data from this ID too. Like here, if you go here, I can show you. Select all from sale. Sorry, customer. Okay, where customer ID equals to two. Okay, so whenever I put here, it is uh, getting. <coughs> it is giving me the record of, of ID two. So same as one as I want in the, my scenario in CRM. Okay, so if I want the single look, I am clicking on this component. Which server name? I am getting from my connection, which I have uh, add, uh, added a couple of minutes. Okay, so database name I am also I am getting, which I have added for a couple of, couple of minutes. Now I am also I want now I want to select a table. Which table from uh, you want to get the data? I want the data from customer table, then I am selecting this. Okay, on which we have, because we, so if you uh, select the component get rows, rows, then you will not get the, this option, but you are, you are selecting a single record, means some behalf of someone, something. Now you want to, you have to pass a uh, ID. So, ID here, so now, so these value are coming from this uh, trigger. So when you, uh, when someone click on this button, this uh, save button, then it will capture the all record, whatever data, whatever are available in this. Okay, now I'm getting all the fields here, whatever filter I, filter I want to take, I can take. Okay, now whatever it will do, it will connect this server with this database and this table. And it will, uh, it will um, write it. It will in background. It will maybe uh, in background. It will write a query like this: select all from this table where customer is two. Okay. So now I got uh, the data in in this. I got a single record. Now what I want? Okay. I got all, uh, all the data from this of this record. Now I what I want? I want to save. All data means first name, last name, phone, email, street, city, and in this uh, form. Okay, so what I will do? I will choose a uh, update component here. So database. I'm choosing a database. What action I need to do? Update a row. Update a row. Which table? I will choose a table. Customer. Customer UID from uh, on behalf of this. Okay, what I need to do? So I will. Uh, this you see, the, these all data is coming from SQL variable. Means you can understand why this variable. So now in city, I will put the city variable. Okay, in email. I will put the email, first name, last name, name automatically this is related, now phone number. Status I uh, doesn't require okay. So, but here need to give the account number. Customer. So, which customer that is from here? Okay. Now I am saving this. Let's see what will happen. 
So what it will do when I will type, I will give the ID here and I will save it. Then it will trigger. Then it will trigger. It will uh, capture the moment when we get it. It will get the data or it will capture all the things. Then it will fetch the data by ID from the SQL uh, database and it will update the remaining detail from this component. So let's see how it is working. And yeah, it is automated now. So let's refresh a couple of times and see. So I will click on new report. Okay, and I'm using this ID too here. And I will click on save button. So not exactly it will give the result. Just you need to refresh or uh, go back again. So just I'm going to go back again. Now I, if you can see here, now you can see that my data is coming. I will open the report and I will see. So what data is coming? And now I will validate the data from SQL. Is right or not? So for two, I will check. Two Krishna told Krishna uh, phone number is not available, so it is not there. You can see. And state is CA and this is it. And this code is not. Uh, okay. Now this is how you can make an integration in MS Garam uh, from SQL database. Any SQL database you can make an an integration using Power Auto Mid Flow. So this is how you can make an integration. You can also <coughs> uh, in my next video I will I will uh, make uh, I will I will uh, show you how you can integrate your all data from uh, legacy uh, database to uh, CRM. Means this is we have we have uh, just now right now we have fetched single record uh, using ID. Okay, so uh, but uh, next video I will show you how you can fetch all the record. Means uh, suppose I have uh, in my customer table I have uh, about 1445 reports. Okay, so I want all the reports uh, migrated to be in CRM at one time. Okay, so what I will do I will just uh, 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 come back. I will come back with another video for this. Uh, purpose so till now that you can see my in integration is working fine and this is how you can make an integration in ML Dynamics CRM